So I tried my best to just overlook this. I tried my best to just scroll past it and act like I didn't even see this post, right? But the zone put out this post yesterday, 12 hours ago, where it says that Floyd Mayweather versus DG Deji will be live on the zone pay per view November 13th. Now, coincidentally, this fight date happens to be six days before a potential fight between Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford was supposed to happen. Isn't it just a coincidence? Isn't it just ironic how six days before Floyd Mayweather goes out and says, stop listening to Mike Coppinger. These are false reports. He speaks about how him and Al Heyman work hand in hand, even though you see PBC is still Mayweather promotions. We're all one. He seems to have a lot of control. So he goes on record and say that fight is happening down the line. And mysteriously, Terrence Crawford in the interview slips up and say that the Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford fight is happening down the line. Now, the Floyd Mayweather, who he says that him and Al Heyman are one. Did Floyd Mayweather say we're going to push that date back because I'm having a fight November 13th? Is that what happened? As I've been saying for the past year now, Floyd Mayweather is purposely blocking this fight. Purposely. And it's hard for people to get through their thick skulls that Floyd Mayweather is jealous of the newer fighters. It's hard for them to see it. They're blinded. They're infatuated with his character. They worship him. And they don't even realize it. They get so caught up in the money persona. Oh, it's okay, man. I don't blame you, Floyd. Get your bag, man. Oh, man. Like, I get it. Like, it's okay. It's fine to admire a person for their business acumen and, you know, the things that they accomplished and how savvy they can be business-wise. But at some point, we have to wake up and see that it's not just about money. It can't be just about money. Like, I could see if you were doing this every once in a while. But it's almost as if Andre Berto, who has said it before, who has just recently came out and said, Floyd Mayweather don't want nobody else to get no shine. He don't want nobody to be hotter than him. So Andre Berto said, Adrian Broner said it. There have been countless other people who said it. I actually did a video to this earlier. But I deleted it because I said, maybe, maybe there's going to be the bigger YouTubers who are going to point this out, who are going to talk about this. At least somebody going to be like, all right, come on, man. Like this, this is starting to get out of hand. But no, everything that Floyd Mayweather does, they agree with. Now, once again, I am one of the biggest Floyd Mayweather fans. But Floyd Mayweather does not want there to be another star in the sport. Here you have Earl Spence. And I'm not saying that this is a mega showdown, but this is one of the biggest fights in boxing right now that everybody wants to see. And as I said, we're more than likely going to get Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao a rematch before we see an Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford fight. And I think people are afraid to say something because they don't want to seem like a hater. They don't want to seem like they're hating on Floyd Mayweather. Get your money. Get your bag. Is boxing the only place a 40-year-old or 40-plus-year-old man can get his bag? Please let me know. 
please let me know. Is boxing the only place? If Floyd Mayweather has boxing gyms, right? If he has fitness, you know, these fitness clubs throughout the world, he has skyscrapers. He has his money invested in real estate. He has all these different streams of income. Is boxing the only place that Floyd Mayweather feels like he has to come back and get a big bag? Because if you got if you getting big bags outside of boxing, what what why do you have to come back to get money in boxing? Or maybe it's not about the money. At some point in time, people got to say, bro, it ain't about the money. Floyd Mayweather loves the spotlight. He loves the glory. He's self-centered. He wanted to be about him. Here you have two undefeated fighters. Instead of him pushing to get that fight, let's say PBC is out of money. Let's say they don't, they don't have none of the networks have enough money to promote this fight, right? Why didn't Floyd Mayweather, if him and Al Heyman are one, why didn't they come together and get with multiple investors? Why the zone and, you know, Showtime and, you know, other big conglomerates can come together and say, you know what, this is the biggest fight in sport. Floyd Mayweather step aside and say, you know what, I've had my time. Because... Isn't Floyd Mayweather going, if, if, correct me if I'm wrong, if PBC and Floyd Mayweather, or Mayweather Promotions that is, if they're all one, isn't Floyd Mayweather going to eat off of Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford? Okay, so if this is one of the biggest fights, it's going to generate hundreds of millions of dollars, right? And even if it don't generate hundreds of millions of dollars, it's going to generate a pretty penny. Let's just say that. It's going to generate a lot of money. So if Floyd Mayweather is going to eat off that fight, then why not just sit in the background and since you're working with the zone, you had beef with the zone at first, why not sit down with the zone and do what you can to make this fight? But this man literally just bogarts and bully and say, nah. I'm taking the November 13th date. Like, y'all can't see what's going on. Y'all don't see this. Ray Charles could probably see this. And he's blind and he's no longer even here. He probably could see this from the grave. What's going on? This is insane. And y'all have no problem with this. And, and the reason why, and I'm going to tell you the reason why a lot of people don't have a problem with this and why they're cool with it, right? Because a lot of YouTubers, right? A lot of the more popular YouTubers, they believe that they have elite access, right? They've been spoiled in a sense. They think that they're the house Negroes now. They got credentials. They could get an interview from a lot of the trainers. They could get interviews from a lot of the, you know, from a lot of the fighters. By them being able to have credentials and they could go to these press conferences and stuff and get these interviews, they think that they are better than us. I'm going to just put it like that, plain and simple. They think they're better than us. But soon they're going to come to realize they, they never going to get the big announcements. You're not going to get those big announcements. You're just like us. They know when they're going to announce the fight. You're not going to get the exclusive, the same luxury that Fight Hype has. Because Floyd Mayweather probably more than likely own a piece of Fight Hype as well. And then pretty soon, your idols, I ain't going to say the cliche, your idols become your rivals. But what's going to end up happening is they're going to give you their butt to kiss. They're going to embarrass you in front of everybody. They're going to turn on you real quick. Mark my words. Mark my words. People think they're better than people. I'm telling you. It's going to come a point in time. They're going to embarrass you in front of everybody. 
in front of everybody. But as I said, back to the topic at hand. Floyd Mayweather is one of the greatest. To me, Floyd Mayweather is the greatest fighter to ever live, to ever lace up the gloves. But at some point in time, people have to call this out and be like, nah, nah. We not tolerating this in the sport as fans. You had your time. You had your time. You just don't want nobody else to get no shine. That's why he's in all the tank interviews. That's why he's all in tank press conferences. He doesn't allow the trainer to do his job. This man just basically deboed Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. And we more than likely never going to get that fight. Not in January, not in February, not in March, not in April, not 2023, not 2024, not 2025. We more than likely never going to get that fight. Because Floyd Mayweather is going to continue to try to block the fight. People are other thinking that, oh, they're trying to age Terrence Crawford out. No. Floyd Mayweather does not want that fight to happen. See, he's willing, he done sold his soul so much that he's willing to go do a, a fight with the, the enemy, the same person he's been bashing the entire time. People, they just go along with everything he says. Everything he says. Or whatever PBC, whatever they put out, they're going to go right along with it. They can come out and say, the fight is going to happen. Oh, yeah, I told you. Be patient. That's the problem with y'all. I already knew. I knew the fight was going to happen on November 19th. They canceled the fight. Nah, the time is not ready. The time is not right for the fight to happen yet. Oh, see what I'm saying? Yup, they're right. The, this is not the right time for the fight to happen. It should happen in January. Then they come out and say, nah, well, Christmas is a better time, you know. It's the season for giving, so, you know, that's when we're going to have the fight. Oh, they're right. See what I'm saying? I was thinking the exact same thing before they even said it. Christmas is the time for giving. Come on, man. Like, But anyway, like, like I said, Floyd Mayweather is an attention seeker. And he wants it to be just about him. You know, he loves the spotlight. He loves it. He loves it. He craves attention. But anyway, I'm out.